welcome to the Elmwood Hall in Belfast and the last game in the quarterfinals of the Irish News Ulster Schools Quiz featuring Coleraine Academical Institution and the Sacred Heart Grammar School from Newry. The winning team today will go on to take part in the semi-finals and a step closer to this silver trophy. Over £3,000 worth of computer equipment and a three-day trip to Paris. So let's meet today's teams. Representing Coleraine Academical Institution, who were last year's beaten finalists, Thomas Millen is studying the sciences, but he hopes to read law at university. His interests include sport and reading. Team captain Thomas Kerr is studying Latin, Greek and politics. He also hopes to read law, and he enjoys playing rugby, indoor bowls and soccer. Alan Thomas is studying physics, chemistry, maths and German. He hopes to become a civil engineer, and his hobbies are writing, rugby and hiking. And Philip Johnston is studying French, German, physics and maths. He hopes to pursue his studies in electronic and electrical engineering. Philip is interested in cross-community work. And representing the Sacred Heart Grammar School, Newry, Brona Finnegan is studying maths, English, geography and physics. She's leader of the school orchestra and would like to travel to the USSR. Team captain Alison McCullough is studying English, French and RE and hopes for a career in journalism. Her interests include public speaking and she's currently the Northern Ireland champion. Neve O'Donnell is studying history, Irish and RE. She hopes to continue her studies at Trinity College Dublin. Her interests include drama, reading and baseball. And Una Bryan is a fifth form student studying for her GCSEs. She enjoys modern dancing and playing camogie. For most of the team, somebody else I would like you to meet is Martin Goss. Without Martin, none of this would be possible. He's our question setter and referee. Well, now let's get straight on to the competition. The first round is quite simply an individual round. One question for each individual team member. There's two points for a correct answer. So, Thomas, we'll start with you up in Colrain. Which of Christ's apostles was known as the doubter? Thomas. Funny that. Well done, Thomas. Name one of the three apostles. This is for Brona. Name one of the three apostles who accompanied Jesus to the Garden of Gethsemane. Peter. Correct. The other two were James and John. Coleraine Thomas K. Which Pacific island is famous for its huge stone statues and takes its name from a Christian festival? Easter Island. Correct. And Alison for Sacred Heart. What is the name of the giant sandstone monolith that stands at almost the exact geographical centre of Australia. Ayers Rock. Correct. Coleraine Allen. Who wrote The Hound of the Baskervilles? Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle. Correct. And Neve for Sacred Heart. Who wrote Round the World in 80 Days? No. It was Sorry. Jules Verne, not Michael Palin. And Philip and Coleraine. A total of five European countries remained neutral during World War II. Which one of these is in Scandinavia? Sweden. Correct. And finally, in this round, Sacred Heart and Una. Which pre-World War I ally of Germany remained neutral when war began and then joined the war against Germany by the Secret Treaty of London in 1915? Italy. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> it's certainly always worth taking a guess. So let's take a look at the scores to see that Sacred Heart Grammar School Newry have six and it's full house for Coleraine Academical Institution. They've got eight. Now we're moving on to round two. It's called Ask Us Another. Round two starts with a buzzer question. Then whichever team gets that answer correct chooses four topics in order of preference. They have to answer the four questions. If they get one wrong, the round is over. If they get an answer correct, they get two points. And if they get all four answers correct, they get an extra two points. So teams, your starter question. Fingers on the buzzers for two points. Xenophobia. Is and that's Coleraine Thomas K. Fear of strangers? Okay. Yes, strangers or foreigners. Now your topics. Exploration, chemistry, Words or the seas? Exploration. Exploration. Whose fleet in 1519 included the vessels Trinidad, San Antonio and Vittorio? Magellan's. Correct. For two points. Chemistry, words or seas? Seas. Seas. Where in the world is the Beaufort Sea? Yeah. 
Do you give me an answer? Uh, in the Arctic Sea. Correct. Arctic, north of Canada. Chemistry or words? Chemistry, please. What is the chemical symbol for argon? AR. AR. Correct. And finally, entomology is the study of which type of creatures? Ants? Mm, um, no, mm, insects. insects. <laughs> so you scored fairly well in that round, but unfortunately just missed out in the last one. But fingers on the buzzers, please, because we have another starter. Where in the human body is the bone called the stirrup? <laughs> Yes, that's Corrine Phillips. Sorry, in the year. Correct, for two points. Once again, you have a choice of topics. They're exploration, chemistry, words, or the seas. Exploration. Hoping to go the same route. Whose fleet in 1497 included the vessels St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, and Berio? Amerigo Vespuccio. No, it was De Gamma. So that's the end of that round. Let's take a look at the scores. Sacred Heart Grammar School and Uri have six points. Coleraine Academical Institution have 18. <laughs> round three is the Who Am I round, looking for the identities of three people. I'll be giving five clues. The first clue is worth five points, the second four, and so on. It's open to everybody, so fingers on the buzzers and get ready for your first one. For five points, born in Russia in 1888, Died in New York in 1989. Yes, that's Coleraine Allen. Solna Netson. No. The ladies of the Sacred Heart. Anybody like to take a guess? Nope, we'll move on. For four points. Worked as a singing waiter in New York cabarets. Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. Irving Berlin. Well done for four points. Moving on to the <coughs> second one. Fingers on buzzers, worth five points. Born in Kans Kansas in 1898. Amelia yes, Earhart. and that is uh, Sacred Heart Una. Amelia Earhart. Well done. <laughs> We're moving on to the next one, and the last one in this round. Fingers on buzzers, worth five points. Born in 1935. Elvis. Good grief. <laughs> I didn't even, didn't even get a chance to say that that was the Sacred Heart and Alison, and the correct answer was Elvis Presley. I don't know why Martin wrote out five clues there. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the scores. We see that Sacred Heart Grammar School in Uri have 16 points. Getting closer, Coleraine Academical Institution have 22. <laughs> don't know why I think that Alison may be an Elvis fan. Well, round four. It's called first two letters. The answers all begin with the same first two letters. There'll be two points for a correct answer and ten questions in all. And the first two letters in this round are C O Co. Fingers on the buzzers. Worth two points. Technique of applying material like scraps of newspaper. Collage. And that's uh, Sacred Heart Brona. Collage. Correct. Working dog of which there are two types. That's Coleraine Thomas K. Cooley. Correct. Musical composition, it, and that's Sacred Heart Alison. Concerto. Well done. Ancient China's most famous teacher, and that's Coleraine Thomas K. Confucius. Correct. Breed of pony, native to Western Ireland. Much, and that's Sacred Heart Alison. Connemara. Correct. The last of Shakespeare's Roman plays, based on, and that is Sacred Heart Alison. Coriolanus. Correct. Force which deflects large-scale winds so that they blow nearly, nearly parallel to equal pressure lines, and Coriolis. that's Sacred Heart Brona. Coriolis. Correct. The Duchy of Southwestern England, the title of which, and that's Sacred Heart Alison. Cornwall. Correct. An expulsive reflex initiated when the respiratory tract is irritated by, and that's Coleraine Philip. Cough. A cough. And finally in this round, a New World member of the dog family, Noted for, and that Sacred Heart Alison. Collie. No, I will give the whole question to Coleraine. A new world member of the dog family, noted for its nocturnal serenade. Yes, Thomas K. Cutie. Correct. No sign of the Roadrunner. So let's take a look at the scores, and it's very close. Sacred Heart Grammar School Newry have 28, Coleraine Academical Institution have 30. So 
there are only two points in it at the end of this first half. I hope you'll join us for a very exciting second half. Into the world of Philips and Whirlpool. Together, Philips Whirlpool bring you a fridge freezer that's frost-free with four separate temperature zones. A washing machine that can automatically save water, energy, and time. A quietly efficient dishwasher. And ovens and hobs that are beautiful to live with. All designed with care. Philips Whirlpool brings quality to life. Maltesers, like crispy magic caught in a chocolate bubble. Every night I hope and pray, dream lover will come my way. Girl who holds me in my arms, you're the magic of her charms. Cause I want girl to call my own. Teasers. The light fantastic. Wallpaper stripping has always been a tough challenge. Now Black & Decker introduced the new steam stripper that helps you strip quicker, cleaner, and easier. So if you're not already using one, you've probably got some catching up to do. The new wallpaper stripper from Black & Decker. Tough tools for tough jobs. L'Italia è buoi toni. E adesso si va. Dall'Italia, buoi toni. If you want a high-interest investment account, Abbey National's sterling asset with its new higher interest rates sounds perfect. And if you leave your money for a year, there's a bonus, so you can hit the very highest notes. The sterling asset account from Abbey National. Music to the investor's ear. Gilby's Ulster Games Home Countries Fencing Championships at Valley Leisure Centre, Newton Abbey, 31st March to 1st of April, between Northern Ireland, England, Scotland and Wales. Hello again from the Elmwood Hall in Belfast and the fourth quarter-final of the Irish News Ulster Schools Quiz. Well, at the end of the first half, Coleraine Academical Institution were leading by only two points, so let's get straight on to round five. It's a Who Am I round. Once again, the identities of three people are required. I'll be giving five clues. The first clue is worth five points, and so on. So if everybody's ready, put their fingers on the buzzers. The first one is for five points. Born in Dublin in 1856. Died in Paris in 1900. Yes, Sacred Heart Alison. Sorry. No. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Anybody from Coleraine? Yes, Alan. O'Connell. No. We'll go on for four points. Educated at Petora and at Trinity College Dublin. Yes, Coleraine Allen. James Joyce. No. Alison. Oscar Wilde. Correct, for four points. <laughs> and the next one. Fingers and buzzers, five points. Born in Birmingham in 1912, a British politician. Yes, Sacred Heart Brona. No. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Sorry? Margaret Thatcher. No. <laughs> yes, Michael. Thomas M. from Coleraine. Michael Foot. No. For four points, educated at Cambridge. <laughs> and that is Coleraine Thomas K. Tony Byrne. No, I'll give the whole question to the girls of the Sacred Heart. Educated at Cambridge, professor of Greek at the University of Sydney. No. Oh, yes, Neve. Edward Heath. No. We'll move on for three points. Served in World War II, reaching the rank of brigadier. For two points. Conservative MP for a Wolverhampton constituency from 1950 to 1974. Yes, Coleraine Phillip. Harold Wilson. No. Anybody from Sacred Heart? No, we'll move on. For one point. 
Minister of Health in Macmillan's government, 1960. Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. Douglas Hume. No. Finally, the girls of, Sac of the Sacred Heart will give you the full clue. Minister of Health in Macmillan's government, 1960 to 63. And Unionist MP for South Down. Yes, yeah. Brona. <coughs> Enoch Powell. Well done for one point. <laughs> the last one in this round. Fingers and buzzers, five points. Born in Italy in 1792. Died in Paris in 1868, a composer. Yes, Coleraine Thomas K. Verdi? No. Sacred Heart? No, we'll move on for four points. Had learnt the violin, horn and harpsichord by the age of 15. Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. Rossellini? No. Yes, Neve. Puccini? No. For three points. Best known for his operas, he wrote The Italian Girl in Algiers for La Scala and Otello and The Thieving Magpie for Naples. Yes, Coleraine Allen. Scarlatti? No. Sacred Heart? Hmm. No, we'll move on. For two points, he moved to Paris in 1823 and began, yes, that Monteverdi. Sacred Heart Neve. Monteverdi? No, I'll give the whole question to Coleraine. He moved to Paris in 1823 and began to write large-scale dramatic works for the Paris Opera. Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. Rossini. Well done, yes, very close when you said Rossellini, but that wasn't quite the same thing. For two points, well done. So at the end of that round, let's look at the scores. Oh, it's got very close. In fact, Coleraine Academical Institution of 32, but Sacred Heart have gone into the lead this time with 33. <laughs> Six is another first two letters. Once again, the answers all begin with the same first two letters. Two points for a correct answer, ten questions in all. And in this round, the first two letters are W-I. W-I. Fingers on the buzzers, two points. Device for milling grain, pumping water, or performing other work by using sails to harness the power mm. of Windmill. the wind. Yes, Brona. Windmill. Well done for two points. Landscape design evolved by European potters in the 18th century in imitation of the Chinese. And Sacred Heart Allison. Willow. Willow. Pattern. Yes, Willow Patton, yep. Story by Frank Baum featuring Dorothy and the Tin Man. Yes, Coleraine, Thomas M. Wizard of Oz. Correct. Trophy awarded to the winners of the annual match between the women's tennis teams of the US. Yes, Coleraine, White Thomas M. The Whiteman Cup. Correct. Northeast Central State of the US. And that's Coleraine Thomas M. Wisconsin. Correct. Largest lake in England. And that's at Sacred Heart Allison. Windermere. Correct. Thread, strip or bundle of fibres that by capillary action draws up the oil of a lamp to be burned. Yes, Sacred Heart Allison. Wick. Correct. Genus of twining, woody vines with large drooping flower clusters. And that's Coleraine Thomas K. Oh. I know. No. I'll give it all to Sacred Heart. Genus of twining, woody vines with large drooping flowers, clusters, coloured purple, and Wisteria. that's Neve. Wisteria. Correct. Administrative County and Island of England. And that's Coleraine Thomas K. White. Correct. Finally, in this round, American authoress of Little House in the Big Woods and Little House, yes, Coleraine Thomas M. Wilder. Correct. Laura Ingalls Wilder. That's the end of round six. Oh, Coleraine Academical Institution of 42 and Sacred Heart Grammar School, Newry, have 43. <laughs> However, as I've said before, there are still an awful lot of points to be won. We're on to round seven, and round seven's called Making Progress. Once again, a starter question, fingers on the buzzers. Then whichever team gets that answer correct, picks a topic. And there are five questions to answer on that topic in the space of 60 seconds. The first question's worth one point, right up to the fifth, worth five. So teams, if you're ready, fingers on the buzzers for your starter question. What name is given to the beginner's all-purpose symbolic in... Yes, that's Sacred Heart Brona. Basic. Correct, well done. Your choice of topics. Events of the 1970s, Islands of the World, World War II, films of the 1980s, and The Living World. Films of the 1980s, please. Films of the 1980s, you may certainly have. If you get stuck or are unsure, you may pass, and we can come back to that if time allows. So, start the clock for one point. What was the name of Milos Forman's 1984 film based on Peter Schaeffer's play about Mozart's life? Amadeus. Correct. 
For two points, what was the name of the 1981 film in which Robert De Niro played a priest and Robert Duvall, his policeman brother, concerned by a sordid murder case? Pass. For three points, in 1983, Mike Newell produced a film based on the life of Ruth Ellis, the last woman hanged in Britain. What was it titled? I pass. Which 1980 film starred Donald Sutherland, Mary Tyler Moore and Timothy Hutton and won Oscars for Hutton and for Robert Redford on his debut as a director? Out of Africa? No, it was Ordinary People. Never Say Never Again, the 1983 film in which Sean Connery recreated his original Bond role was actually a remake of which earlier Bond movie? Doctor No? No, it was Thunderball. Packed to your two-pointer. What was the name of the 1981 film in which Robert De Niro played a priest and Robert Duvall, his policeman brother, concerned by a sordid murder case? The Godfather. No, it was True Confessions. The answer to the other question, your three-pointer, in 1983, Mike Newell produced the film based on the life of Ruth Ellis, the last woman hanged in Britain. It was called Dance with a Stranger. Now, Coleraine, your choice of topics. Events of the 1970s, Islands of the World, World War II, or the Living World? Islands of the World, please. Islands <coughs> of the World, certainly you may have those. Remember, if you're not sure, you may pass on a question, and if we have time, we'll come back to that question. So, start the clock, one point. Which South Atlantic island group is its capital at Port Stanley? Falklands. Correct. For two points, which island, linked politically to the USA since 1898, has its capital at San Juan and is one of the most densely populated islands in the world? Costa Rica. No, it's Puerto Rico. Puerto which island group, for three points, lies southeast of Florida and contains at least 700 Florida islands, Keys. 30 of them inhabited, including Andros, New Providence, Abaco and the San Florida Salvador? Keys. The Florida Keys? No, it's Bahamas. Mm. For four points, which Portuguese island lying due west of Morocco has its capital at Funchal? Madeira? Correct. For five points, which British Commonwealth island has a Caribbean setting, a Portuguese name, an English culture, and a Negro population? Trinidad and Tobago? No, it's another one. Barbados. Mm. Never mind, let's take a look at the scores at the end of that round. Oh dear, we see that Sacred Heart Grammar School Newry have 46, still one point in it. But the other way round, Coleraine Academical Institution have 47. Well, I don't know how the teams are going to cope. I certainly can't stand it with only one round to go, and it's quite simply buzzers. Anybody, it's a free-for-all. There are two points for each correct answer, and we simply keep going until the gong sounds. So if everybody's ready, fingers on the buzzers. Two points per question. Where were the 1952 Olympics held? Coleraine Thomas M. Um, that's gone, sorry. Sacred Heart? Yes, Thank Una. You. Helsinki? Correct. Where would you find the Spanish steps? Yes, Sacred Rome. Heart Una. Rome. Correct. Who was Ebenezer Scrooge's deceased? Yes, Sacred Heart Alison. Marley. Correct. To whom did God appear as a burning bush? Gil Coleraine Thomas K. Moses. Correct. Who solved the riddle of the Sphinx? Sacred Heart Alison. Hercule Poirot. Nope. Thomas Oedipus. K. Correct. What was founded by General William Booth? Thomas K. Salve Coleraine. Salvation Army. Correct. What is the name given to two or more forms of the same element, differing from, and that's Coleraine Thomas M. Isomerism. No. Sacred Heart Una. Isotopes. Correct. What is the last letter of the Greek alphabet? Coleraine Thomas K. Omega. Correct. Which Irish-born Nobel Prize winner died in December 8, 1989? Yes, Coleraine Thomas M. Samuel Beckett. Correct. Which sign of the zodiac covers the period? November 23rd? Yes, Sacred Heart Alison. Sagittarius. Correct. What does a billet do? Sa uh, Sacred Heart Brona. Sorry, Spanish dance. Coleraine? Thomas K. It's, it's a kettle. No, it's not. It's a love letter. <laughs> Which is the most northerly state of the US? Ta uh, Coleraine Thomas M. Alaska. Correct. Over which country did King Lear rule? Yes, Sacred Heart Alison. England. Yes. Where is Mount Cook? Coleraine Thomas M. New Zealand. Correct. A popular doggerel has the same name as an Irish city. Yes, Sacred Heart Alison. Limerick. Correct. Which Shakespearean character was Thane of Glam's? Coleraine Thomas K. Macbeth. Correct. Which is the most southerly state of the USA? Coleraine Thomas M. Florida. No. Uh, yes, Una. Why? Correct. What type of creature is a kitty wake? Sacred Heart Alison. It's a fish. No. Coleraine. Uh, Philip. It's a bird. Correct. Who wrote Where Eagles Dare? 
Coleraine Thomas K. Blend it. No. <sighs> Sacred Heart. Neve. Frederick Forsyth. No. Alistair, Alistair McLean. McLean. Mussolini was Il Duce. Who is El Codillo? Uh, oh, Coleraine uh, Thomas K. Sancho Panza. No. Call question two, uh, Sacred Heart. Mussolini was Il Duce. Who was El Codillo? Um, Brona. Franco. Yes. With which area of the arts do you associate William Connor? Coleraine Thomas M. Sculpture. Pe no. Uh, yes, I, I shall give it to uh, Sacred Heart. I think it's only fair. Thomas M got it wrong. All right. With which area of the arts do you associate William Connor? Neve. Music? No. <laughs> the reason why I barricaded over that is obvious. The answer was painting. Because if you look at the scoreboard, the Sacred Heart Grammar School, Newry, have 64, beaten by one point by Coleraine Academical Institution with 65. Well, very bad luck to the girls from Sacred Heart. Coleraine Inst will be going through to the second semi-final. But next week, it's the first semi-final between the Royal School, Dungannon, and Lawn Grammar School. I hope you'll join us then, next Saturday at 12.30.